Hello fellow Clashers! Welcome to another video from Kairos Time. Today we're going to be doing something different that I have never done before. We're going to be doing a concept video where I talk about a cool idea that could be implemented into the game to make the game even better than it is right now. Now, we're going to be talking about clan versus clans, clan wars, but before we get to that, I wanted to um, talk about some other stuff in regards to my channel. As you guys know, my channel is growing a ton and I have big plans for it. I would love to do some type of a stream, but to be completely honest, my internet is too slow for me to upload a, uh, a good stream quality, so we won't be doing that. Instead, I have a different idea of how you can participate in my videos. What I want everybody do, to do is go and add me on Facebook. My first name is Kairos Time, and my last name is Gaming. Find me, and I'll include a link in the description in my page so that you can add me and we can become friends on Facebook. If you have your Facebook account paired up on your Clash Royale account, then you can watch me play matches live and I can watch you. We can throw confetti. It'll be a blast. But what that will allow me to do is to be able to give coaching to players in all trophy counts in a series that I'm going to be calling Kairos Coaches. So go ahead and add me there so that we can... Uh, get that series started. Now, as you guys know, I'm coming up really close to 1,000 subscribers and I plan on doing a Q&A. So leave your questions in the comments below and like the questions that you're most interested in me answering. And I will do a, a Q&A where you guys can get to know me a little bit more. You can feel free to ask anything. I can't guarantee that I'll be able to answer every question, but I'll do my absolute best, especially to answer the most popular questions. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and talk about clan vs. clan clan wars. If you're like me, you started playing Clash Royale because you're a big fan of Clash of Clans. Now, I haven't played Clash of Clans in a while, but I still love the game. I think it's a fantastic game, and I absolutely loved clan vs. clan clan wars. I remember when they came out with the introduction advertisement for clan wars on uh, on YouTube with the hog rider singing in the background I, I loved it so much I, th I was so excited I couldn't stop singing the song the theme song was great um, and ever since uh, that update came out clash of clans breathed new life it was an amazing update tons of fun there is nothing like taking the skill of your clan that you're good friends with and the skill of another clan that you're not so good friends with and seeing who has what it takes to beat each other out and in clash royale i think it would be a wonderful idea to implement something like that now i've heard a lot of different ideas on how this could possibly be in implemented where you can use where you can team up with your friends to play against other people and I haven't even come, I haven't heard of anything that is better than what my friends and I and Son of a Witch have been able to talk about and kind of kind of come up with an idea. So let's go ahead and go over that. So here's the idea behind it. Each clan would be able to enter a, um, a queue for a matchup against another clan um, maybe once a day. And in that time, you would it would might take a little bit of time for you to get matched up against another clan that would have similar levels or maybe even a similar win, a clan war win ratio as your clan does. And then once you get matched up with them, you'd have a 15 minute prep time to gather the troops, get your friends all ready. And then the, the clan war would last an hour. Now, that's nice because it doesn't require that much of a commitment, um, but still you're going to be able to have plenty of time to get some good um, battles in there. Now the idea is that I would, let's say I was playing in there, I would do, I would enter into the clan war matchup and I would be faced up against somebody in the opposite uh, team. If I would win my match, then a point would go to, to my uh, clan for the war. And if I lost, then obviously it would go to the uh, opponent um, for their team. And then the idea is to get a go to reach uh, either 30 or 50 wins by the end of the hour. And or if you can't get to that point, the clan with the most wins would be able to take the victory. And the reason why that is because sometimes a clan might just not participate if they realize that there's no chance for them winning. And so that would mean that the team that does have the highest score would definitely win. Now, to encourage people to participate, the idea is that both clans would get a prize dependent on their participation. So if you participate, every time you lose, maybe you get one card added to your war chest. 
and if you beat your opponent, then maybe you get three to five cards added to the war chest. The clan that loses would just get that number, however many cards are added into their war chest, and the team that wins would get the cards added into their war chest multiplied by a factor of two or three. So the idea behind that is that if you part play and you play 10 matches and you're, you lose all of them and your clan loses, you still get 10 cards for playing and it's fun and you have a good time, you learn a little bit and maybe your clan can get better. But if you're playing uh, and you win 10 matches in a row and your clan wins, you would get a prize of anywhere between 60 and 90 cards, which honestly would be a great way to help the free-to-play players get uh, more cards and be able to level up a little bit faster, and it'd be a ton of fun. I know that my clan specifically, we would do all sorts of discussing on how we could have done better. We'd be posting replays on where we lost, posting replays on where we won, and talking about how we could have improved in the future. That way, in future clan wars, we'd be able to ensure more success. This is an idea that we talked about in Son of a Witch kind of briefly. Um, came up with the idea. Uh, just wanted to get it out there. If you guys have any other suggestions or maybe different ways that you could change this idea to uh, make it a little bit easier to implement or something like that, go ahead and leave a, a suggestion in the comments below. If you like this idea, go ahead and like the video, and I will do my absolute best to try and make sure that Supercell is aware of it. No, I do not have a connection with Supercell, but if this video gets a lot of attention, and my Reddit post gets a lot of attention, I'm sure that they will see it and think about how this could be possibly implemented. I am sure that Supercell is already thinking about ways that we can do clan vs clan things in this game because of what the success it brought to Clash of Clans um, and this is a, a way that I think that could really work out and make clan vs clan wars successful. Now for the rest of this video I'm going to be talking about this deck that you're watching me play. It is an Expo Giant Skeleton deck and includes the Rocket. Yes, I've gone Siege with this deck and it is a ton of fun. It's uh, one th really cool thing about the Expo is that people are not familiar with how to counter it right now. Because of that, if you make a successful setup with your Expo, you can definitely take people caught off guard. They won't know how to how to play around it, and that can get you some sweet wins. I've been playing around with it ever since one of my clan members uh, mentioned this deck to me. I've been playing around in tournaments, and if you have the, the cards in this deck high enough level, then you can definitely make this successful. And even if you aren't going to be playing around with it in the ladder, um, it's just a ton of fun to mess around with. Yes, it is annoying to play against, I will admit admit to that but it is fun and so that's why I'm doing a video on it here now when it comes to placing the expo you'll see where I have it placed right here that is just barely within range of the tower but there's still one tile in front of it and that is important because it allows you to place a cannon um, to the side of it which distracts uh, troops like a hog rider or a giant or even a balloon um, and then also that extra space in front of the expo gives you a place where you can place down your barbarians that is such a hard thing for an opponent to to stop if you place your barbarians right there because it gives your expo plenty of time to do damage to defending troops and also to get damage on a tower. Now the reason why we have this giant skeleton in here is because of how strong of a defense it is. It you, you can try to get him to the tower, but ultimately your goal is to just put him in front of that expo, and if you can do that, then when he dies, unless your enemy defended with fast troops, then when your giant skeleton dies, then he will blow up nearly, his bomb that he drops will kill and clear almost all of the uh, troops that were used to try and defend your expo. This deck definitely does take some practice to learn how to use. Uh, the only reason why I was able to really pull it off is because I've had practice with the Expo because of how popular it was in the past. So try it out, watch this video again, and pay close attention to how I place down my troops so that you can make a successful push. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. This is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in the arena.